Alright guys, it's I Miss Too Much, and I'm bringing you some Planet Zoo. Today we're going to be starting the career mode, Eye of the Taiga, so let's jump in. Decided to go ahead and skip the tutorials just because I don't really think that they're really worthwhile to play through as like a let's play or anything like that, so let's begin. After your sterling work in China, I got a bit of the good news, better news situation for you. The good news is that I'm promoting you to Apprentice Zoo Manager. The better news is, you get to build a new zoo from scratch. Uh, that said, you will be on your own this time. No help from Nancy, although she wishes you luck. So, I suppose it's actually more of a good news, better news, and then mm, slightly worse news situation. Either way, it's a chance for you to really prove yourself. Now, for this zoo, I'll want to see a good few different habitat and exhibit species and at least as many guests to look at them. I'd also like you to keep your staff nice and happy as much as you can. And obviously the same is true of the animals as well. Oh, and uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, you should try to turn a good sized profit to boot so we can continue our vital work elsewhere. There, that should keep you going for a while. <laughs> I'll check in with you later. Good luck. All right, let's go ahead and pause the game. We need at least 350 guests in the zoo and at least three habitat species in the zoo. So that's kind of our start. We want to go ahead and see kind of what the zoo's about, see what's going on with it. All right, so we got a little bit of space to work around with. Looks like we got multiple tiers. Uh, we got a little bit of, say, like an island that we can go through over here. Uh, a little bit of a dead end back here. And then we got some tiers that we can build up. I think it'd be nice to probably put, say, like a habitat right here. Uh, build some path up like that. Maybe another one out here so we can grab something like that. Build some that snakes up here. Got a little bit of a space for another exhibit. Maybe another one right there, maybe another one right there. Nice to have, uh, well you really can't see it from up there. And then we finally got this little space up here. So, looks like we got a lot of room to work with, a lot of stuff to play around with. It's kind of in a, I guess, weird, uh, whatever. So, we'll go ahead and work on it, thinking maybe since the guests will come through through that kind of path right there. Uh, maybe possibly put an exhibit up here, have the guests track around this way, maybe put like a staff area back here to let them get through like that. So let's go ahead, start building up a little bit, keep the path the same as that one, because I actually just really enjoy how that path looks. So I'm doing right here, setting up all the staff stuff that we'll need, things like the veterinary clinic, the staff room, the trade center, everything that the zoo really needs to actually run. And even though it's kind of far off from where the habitats are probably going to end up, I just decided to set it out here so that it doesn't impact guest score, trying to keep it to the very edge of this little island and keep it isolated from the guest paths and things like that. All right, so it's a little weird shaped plaza, but it works. The paths in this game are a little bit janky, so it's really hard to get something that looks good, especially when you're trying to fit a lot of buildings into a small area. We'll check our heat map really quick, negative impact on guests. We've got a very, very uh, big margin between here. So maybe, I don't know, throw something there eventually, but for right now, we're good. I think the first kind of habitat we'll do will be right there but let's go ahead and we're I'm gonna build another path right here 
just so we can kind of turn this into a little plaza if we like. And let's get our first habitat built. All right, so it's a little bit janky, but we had to go ahead and connect that staff path up so that like the mechanics and things like that can get to whatever they need. But this is our first little habitat. Looks like we still have $66,000 to go, so we'll build a couple guest facilities out in this little plaza. We're gonna need a caretaker, we're gonna need a keeper. We need a mechanic. We're gonna need a vet. Then we're gonna go back through here, make ourselves a little work zone. It's gonna include, looks like this is not a complete habitat because we forgot the door. Go ahead and throw it right there. Go back, finish making this work zone. It's going to be this habitat, as well as these buildings. Then we're going to go through here. Assign these three, or four, I guess that works in. So that's pretty much everything that we need except for the actual animal that's going to go in this exhibit. Which we're going to check the terrain. We got 912 square meters to work with. So all we're going to have to do now is find an animal that needs about that much. Which I think our best bet is going to be probably some bison. Now bison are a little tricky because you can only have one male and then the rest have to be female. Because if you don't do that, they fight. So we're gonna go ahead, move them to, we don't have a quarantine. And that's what we're missing. Looks like none of our facilities have power. Hopefully that fixed it. I think it did. And we'll just have to build a little bit of a habitat around that. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and start editing these barriers to add a little bit of glass. and probably keep this corner over here reserved for some privacy. So we got a few spots that they can kind of see into right now. Uh, eventually we'll probably maybe level out some of this terrain back here, kind of create a little step so that you can look over and see the animals. But eh, for right now, this works. It's what we got to work with. Still got 50 grand, don't want to spend it all in one day. So let's see how our quarantine animals are doing. Looks like I think they all passed. Maybe not.
waiting for all of them to... Well, I think they all did. It might have just been throwing a fit at me. So we got all those deliveries scheduled, and then from here we can kind of start putting stuff together. Unfortunately for us, I don't think they have... Um, anything interesting we can really put in. So that's going to be kind of their hideout spot. Because they will get a little bit stressed if we don't have a place for them to hide. I think the climate and stuff, everything is fine for them. Not much we can really do with the... Uh, really anything at the moment. So let's go ahead and actually get some research done for these guys. And looks like we can't really yet. Alright. He doesn't really care. Alright, so we got him. He's showing up. Looks like now we should be getting some guests. Now that he's here. Alright, one of the reasons why I got these guys is because they actually will um, connect with other species. I don't think the other species that they connect with is too expensive. They got plenty of room, so we'll probably add... Uh, I forget which one it is. We can look through right here. Zoopedia, go up here. We got antelope, so if we want to, we can throw some antelope up there. I'm not sure if we have those unlocked just yet, but something that we could do later on saves us a little bit of money because we don't have to build an entire other habitat or anything like that. Um, but I think the next thing we could probably do is flatten some terrain back here. Probably also build another little path out here to see what we can do. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see some more Planet Zoo, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below, and always give me a like. Thank you.